All right, this video we're going to do some examples of dividing polynomials. So the steps to, um, or what, what you can do when you're dividing polynomials is you can use steps that are similar to long division. And that's what you would do when you would divide whole numbers, probably in like middle school or grade school. Um, but you have to think about when you're factoring a polynomial, you're actually trying to find something that divides into the polynomial. And when you divide, so if you divide one of the factors um, into the polynomial, you can actually get the other factor. So this um, uh, method can have some utility. So let me show you an example of what we call polynomial long division, which is gonna be similar to the long division process that, that you may remember from a few years ago. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide 6x squared plus 7x plus 2 by 2x plus 1 using long division. So you probably remember writing like this. All right. Now, when we do this, our first step is we're going to divide 6x squared by 2x. And what we're going to get is 3x. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 2x plus 1 by 3x. So we're going to end up getting 3x times 2x is 6x squared. And 3x times 1 is 3x. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract these terms from our original polynomial. So 6x squared minus 6x squared is 0. And 7x minus 3x is 4x. And then what we're going to do is pull this 2 down. You remember this? So then we're going to have 4x plus 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide 4x divided by 2x and that's going to give us 2. And then we're going to multiply 2 times 2x gives us 4x. And 2 times 1 is 2. So when we subtract this, we end up with 0. So the quotient, when we divide 6x squared plus 7x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 1, is 3x plus 2. Now, just to show you something really quick, if I take these two factors, and I FOIL this, you get 6x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 2, which gives us 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. So these two are factors, and this is just another way of factoring a polynomial. So if we know a linear factor of a polynomial, that would be if we know that 2x plus 1 is a factor of this polynomial, you can use polynomial division to find other factors. Now, I don't want to focus too much on polynomial long division. Um, I want to show you another method that's called synthetic division. Um, this is something that I think is going to come up in other higher level math classes, maybe like pre-calc. So synthetic division will simplify the long division process um, for dividing a, a polynomial by a linear expression that looks like x minus a. So just take note that the number in front of x has to be 1 or in this case, there would be no number written in order to do synthetic division. Now, when we're doing synthetic division, we're going to basically eliminate coefficients. Uh, or we're Sorry, we're only going to write the coefficients. We're not going to write variables, and we're not going to write exponents. Okay? And then for what we're dividing by, what we're going to do is we're going to reverse the sign. So we're going to use a instead of negative a and vice versa. That's going to allow us to add instead of subtract um, 
remember we were subtracting in polynomial long division, here we're gonna add. So let me show you the process of synthetic division. Um, and then we'll do a, a, a couple examples and then you'll be able to do the homework problems. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to write the coefficients and that includes zeros uh, of the polynomial in standard form and we're going to omit the exponents and we're going to omit the variables. So here I'm going to write all of the coefficients so the numbers in front of the, um, the variable. So the number in front of x cubed is 1, number in front of x squared is negative 14, number in front of x is 51, and then the one with no variable is negative 54. Over here, I'm gonna put in this little box the opposite of a. So it's because we're dividing by x plus two, I'm gonna write negative two. And then I'm gonna leave some space and I'm gonna put a line right here. Okay, the first step and I'll use a different color so that this is clear, is that we're gonna pull down the first coefficient and write that here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply the divisor by that first coefficient. So negative two times one, and then we're gonna write that up here is negative two. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these two numbers. Negative 14 plus negative two is negative 16. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep repeating this process. So then I'm gonna multiply my divisor by this new number here, negative 16. So negative two times negative 16 is 32. And then we're gonna add 51 and 32, which gives me 83. And we're gonna do the same process. So we're gonna do negative two times 83, and that gives me negative 166. And then we're going to add negative 54 plus negative 166, which gives me negative 220. And now we're done. So my quotient is going to be, you always start with um, x and the exponent minus 1 from your highest exponent. So it would be, here we would write x squared minus 16x plus 83 and we have a remainder of negative 220. Let me write that better. So sometimes with these problems, you can end up with the remainder. And that would be your answer. Let's look at another one. Okay, here we're dividing x cubed minus 57x plus 56 by x minus seven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write out um, first our uh, coefficients without variables or exponents. So x cubed, we're gonna write one. And now this is really important. There is no x squared here, but we can't omit x squared. So if there's no x squared written or any of the, the degrees not written, you have to put in zero. So this zero is filling in for x squared. So you can imagine that this is written as x cubed plus zero x squared minus 57x plus 56. So that zero is gonna be really important. Then we're gonna write minus 57 and then 56. Okay. And in the box over here, we're gonna put the opposite of a, so it's x minus seven, so we're gonna put positive seven. We're gonna leave a space and draw a line, 
and we're going to pull down our first coefficient. And then we're going to do 7 times 1 is 7. 0 plus 7 is 7. Then we're going to do 7 times 7 is 49. Negative 57 plus 49 is negative 8. Seven times negative eight is negative fifty six, and fifty six plus negative fifty six is zero. So our answer is x squared plus seven x minus eight with a remainder of zero. Now, if you have a remainder of zero, you don't necessarily have to write this, but I'm putting it there just to make a point. Okay, so you should have enough now to do the three homework problems that I'm gonna ask you to do. Um, I will leave answers with this all worked out for you to check yourself.